welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. We've got a beautiful sunrise this morning, 6.30 in the morning. Make sure one of your days you get up to watch the sunrise. It's, it's beautiful at sea. Today is all about a grand tour of the beautiful wonder of the seas. We do have breakfast at the Mason Jar this morning, which, a, which is a brand new restaurant, brand new concept for Royal Caribbean. It's only on this ship. We're on the 15th floor in the solarium. Got about four hours until, until brunch. I love getting up in the morning and being one of the only ones up on the ship. It's a whole different experience. Not really a good sunrise this morning, but that's okay because we have six other mornings to, to catch a really good one. Oh my goodness. This is something else. Holy cow. We're on the running track. We're kind of just wandering until the real tour a little bit later. We're uh, discovering the chip. Wow. Get up in the morning, everybody, for some uh, beautiful time to yourself, an empty cruise ship. Ten out of ten on the shower. Absolutely amazing. You know, this is why I wanted an interior balcony cabin. It's it's pretty awesome, and since we have cabins back to back, we have a double balcony, which is super nice. Um, breakfast, though, is very soon, and I'm really, really excited to try this. It's brand new. It's never been on any royal ship. The mason jar is actually right by the wind jammer. We'll be there tomorrow, or maybe even later today. Hello for, I don't know, lunch, but definitely breakfast as well. Here's the new experience. My goodness, this kind of reminds me of homecoming at Disney Springs because of the buttermilk biscuits instantly. But will it taste as good as Disney Springs homecoming or is it gonna be better? Ooh, there's even an open bar and a live band. So it feels like you don't even need to have reservations for the bar. You can kind of just stroll on in here. This looks like, like the relaxing area and then I think sit down, that's where we're gonna be going. We're gonna check in right here. For a brunch, by the way, it's gonna be $24.99, and then for dinner, it's going to be $39.99, and that's per person. And this is the new concept, again, on Royal Caribbean. It's Southern American, just like homecoming at Disney Springs. This might be a nice area to come here and enjoy uh, live entertainment, probably at night. Definitely, definitely at night. We got a nice little spot here. Heck yeah, thank you. Ooh, look how it's like nicely like all like placed. Mason jars. Very lovely. That's the name. I love it. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Mason jar. That's what it's called. Thank you. All right, so here's a look at our menu. Oh my gosh, smoked deviled eggs. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. We are going to be getting the southern breakfast. It's two eggs any way that I want, served with bacon, sweet potato hash, and biscuits. And then we're also going to get some peanut buttery banana overnight oats. Stuff French toast and maybe some red velvet pancakes. It took one whole day, one whole day, a mimosa. We finally got a mimosa. Mm. I taste no orange juice. It's the way we like it. For the record, it didn't last long. It didn't last long at all. We've got pimento cheese, jalapeno cornbread, saltine crackers. It's time to dig in. And another mimosa. <laughs> I could eat this cheese alone. The Wisconsin boy in me is really happy about this cheese. Also, if you guys are wondering why we don't have a mask on on the cruise ship, it's because Royal Caribbean doesn't have that mask mandate anymore if you're fully vaccinated. And another one. Keep them coming. Salad? I got the watermelon salad with tuna. Wait, no, watermelon. That's watermelon. Is that tuna? I got watermelon salad with salmon and a balsamic. Overnight oats. Banana overnight oats. It looks like there's some Nutella. This is like a, like a glazed bacon. Kind of looks like candied bacon in a way, but holy camoli sauce. This is candied bacon. It's really like sticky. 
<laughs> Tastes great though. Oats. Wow. I wish I could make oats this good. This is way better than the than the dining hall that we had last night. This is probably like the healthiest thing we're gonna eat on this cruise ship. Ten out of ten on the display. Look at the look at the plate as well. It's like a skillet, but holy cow. We've got the American um, style brunch here. Look at that. See it flooding out of here. <laughs> What's underneath this egg is delicious. I think that's hash. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Hashtag living or best life. This is the tastiest thing I've ever tasted. A little spicy, by the way, but A++. Parker got the red velvet pancakes. <laughs> Unbelievable. It looks so good. Yeah, of course he did that. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we got a drink. It's called the No Joke Smoke and Coke. Oh. can smell that. Oh, my gosh. And there goes the Coke. No Joke Smoke and Coke. Rum and Coke. <laughs> that I smells smell great. That. I smell uh. that. Oh. that is strong. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Hello calories. This is like legit, legit French toast. It's stuffed French toast and just the way it looks, like it's crispy, golden brown. Mm. Got some brown sugar in there. Yeah, I taste a lot of Nutella inside. Hands down, I have to agree. Parker just said this is the best thing we've eaten on the cruise. All right, everybody. Welcome to uh, your tour of the wonder of the seas. I kind of want to start out in like the fun section over here on uh, deck 15 where we have the mini golf. We have the zip line. Yes, a zip line. Unbelievable. We have a basketball court. We have this, which goes down to like deck number six. It's actually insane we'll be doing that on I don't even know maybe in this vlog I have no idea what we're doing today there's also a bar down here a children's playground is uh it's 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 huge and kind of overwhelming to cover so if you guys have not please uh, go ahead and uh, thumbs the video up right now and subscribe if you guys are new gosh there's even ping pong over here totally forgot about this a correction this is deck 16 there's so many decks the cantina fresca is another bar in this area and right next to the cantina you've got your taco bar quesadillas burritos tacos everything everything tacos el loco fresh and then just a few feet this way we're in a wind tunnel but we have the arcade it's a pretty big arcade at that a lot of fun a lot of fun, without a doubt. I don't even know where this goes. I have no idea. Where is this? Oh yeah, this is leading to uh, something else over here on deck 16. We've got the Social 100. This is going to be the teen club. It's really cool as you go on in here with all these mirrors. It's trippy. It's a pretty open area. It doesn't really look like there's much activities to do in here besides to kind of just chill. Nice little lounge for the kiddos. Ooh, wait, what is this? It's like a giant touchpad screen. No way. Okay, just kidding. We have foosball. We've got Nintendo Wii's. Oh, that's that's not a Wii. That's a Switch. Four Switches. Okay. All right, kiddos, teens. This is for you. Oh my gosh, you can play chess, jigsaw, dominoes, lines, different games. Like about ten different games. By the way, we are at the back of the ship, still on floor 16. There's actually some vending machines over here as well. If you forget anything, I, uh, I think they're going to be in these uh, vending machines. There's, there's nails if you, you need nails. There you go, band-aids. Let's go up to deck 17. I don't really know what's over here on deck 17. Let's just go discover it. Every um, step is like a new uh, discovery. Oh, this makes sense why I've never been up here. This is the suite level. Okay. We got the big bucks section. I'm just gonna wander down here. These hallways are a lot bigger than normal hallways. You can actually come up here to take a picture, but this is the suite lounge. It's pretty darn big. Only for people staying in suites. 
Deck 17. We're gonna head back down to deck 16. Now on deck 16, there's not that much besides um, great views of deck 15 and all the pool and fun activities. However, if we go more towards the front of the ship, you'll see as we go to deck 16, 17, and 18, this is where the fun also begins. Ooh, we actually have some uh, fun hot tubs that overlook everything. You can actually see through there. It's like clear glass. We've got a bar up here on deck 16, the lime and coconut. Deck 16, basically think of this as a great people watching deck. You can overlook everything. That's where we're headed, up to deck 17 and 18. We also have a very, very windy day at sea today. It's super windy out. Let's head up, I've actually never been up here before. Oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. We'll be doing that soon. Maybe not today, oh he's getting stuck. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, some great views, for sure. We've got another Social 100 Club. 13 and 17 year old only. Have their own little private deck. Is this not stunning though? This is beautiful. I can't believe this is a cruise ship. Just looking at this is just unreal. Ocean views for days up here. Nothing but ocean. To be honest, I don't even know how to get up to deck 18, but we'll figure that out when we go down the slides. I am so confused. You'll have to stay tuned, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We'll figure it out one of these days. But here on deck 16, we have a specialty restaurant hooked. This is not free, so it is gonna cost you. Very elegant, very modern. This is uh, gonna cost you extra, probably like $24, just similar to what we ate at today. And then down there, this is uh, another buffet that is free. I don't even know what that's called. I haven't been able to eat over there. What we're looking at is actually the solarium on deck 15. $53 per person, by the way, so a little bit more expensive than what we just ate at. And down we go to deck 15. Oh, we've got some lovely birds. Lots of fantastic art everywhere on this ship. It looks like we're gonna be exiting out to the solarium. It's where we were this morning. Now here in the solarium, we've got actually a lot of hot tubs, a lot of space to just relax and chill. Um, it seems to be primarily like an adult section. There's a bar as well, and there's a food spot. At the front, they have on each side a little wing where you can go out there uh, and get some fresh air, but it's so windy out. I don't even really want to do that at the moment. It's uh, kind of terrifying. Whoa, 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 what is this? This is a cool little bar. I feel like this is new. I, don't, I feel like this is not on any other Royal Caribbean's cruise ships. Got a nice little... Let me go back here because I want to see what this restaurant is. This included like buffet restaurant. The Solarium Bistro is what it's called, and this is included. Lots of people in here for sure. Oh, it is buffet style, so you get to actually go and grab whatever, whatever you want, when you want, as long as they're open. Holy banana sauce, we just ate, but would you look at this. Grab and go. What you see is what you want. We are definitely gonna have to come check this out. It's music to my ears, free. We love free. Now as we head to the back of the ship, the aft of the ship, um, as we're going through the middle, this is where we're gonna see a lot of the kids' splash zones, the pools. Um, we've got the lime and coconut bar, whereas the first bar, we actually got a drink. Um, this is the party zone. And you know what? We actually just answered our question. This is how you get up to deck 18 to go down the slides, the cyclone, typhoon, typhoon and a supercell. We're gonna have ourselves a lovely water park day on this cruise ship. As far as the lime and coconut goes, I like how it's actually on both sides. So it's right here, and if you walk across the deck, and then here is the other side of the bar. Both sides. Also, it appears that this side of the cruise ship is the smoking section. A nice little shallow pool to watch whatever they're showing on the TV. That's the largest TV on a cruise ship at sea. They also have nice seating over here as well. I'm not really sure what the story behind of all these astronauts are, but there's like just astronauts randomly placed everywhere. Let's keep heading this way. Still on deck 15, guys. 
it's still on deck 15. Here's a better view. This is what I was talking about earlier as we were walking by. You see that? It's like see-through. I'm actually uh, disappointed in myself because deck 15, where we're headed, is the wind jammer. I haven't even eaten in the, the buffet yet. So this is gonna be like my second time going in the wind jammer. I haven't even eaten here yet. Here she is, the wind jammer. It, it is a ginormous. Say it with me. It's washy washy time. I love how they have the couches in the middle. If you guys were here on the live stream, this is where we kind of went in and we we uh, couldn't do it because we lost connection. Without doubt, the biggest buffet I've ever seen in my entire life. Right when you walk in, you're hit with buffet on both sides. It looks like vegetarian, and on the left, it's the favorites. <laughs> okay. It's actually a complete circle. A circle wind jammer. You see how it's open? It actually goes over there as well. This is actually the gap where the zip line goes across that we saw earlier in the video. Hopefully in a little bit we'll be spending a lot of time in the buffet. I feel like the next couple days without a doubt we should be. Definitely a huge win jammer at that. It's beautiful in there. Oh yeah, and before we head down, that's where we just were on uh, 15, the mason jar. Decks 14 through nine are primarily state rooms, except with uh, Wonderland being on deck 10, I believe. Wonderland being a uh, additional dining option on the Wonder of the Seas. Oh my gosh. What the heck? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, <laughs> Wonderland is actually on deck 12. I was completely wrong, but I feel like I'm entering like Alice in Wonderland in this. How beautiful. Look at this place. Holy cow. Unbelievable. What a dining experience this has to be. So it is on two decks, deck 12 and 11. Unbelievable, this is so cool. Look at how the chairs are shaped like bunnies. It smells delicious. I think this is a dress code place. I really wanna eat here just for the scenery. This is new to me, but we're in the music hall here on deck nine. Have no idea what this is. Well, it appears no one is in the music hall. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there, hello. We've got a, we've got pool, we've got a bar. It's like a nice, quiet area at the moment. We are just like discovering it all today. Hands down, some really cool stairs. Oh, another bar down here. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to check this out. But speaking of fun, we are about to head on out to Central Park. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, I love Central Park. <laughs> I think without a doubt, Central Park is my favorite thing on this ship. So here in Central Park, you're gonna find Chops Grill, 150 Central Park, both uh, additional dining options. You can also go on the, the floating bar that goes up multiple decks. Obviously, beautiful views you're gonna find here. You're gonna find a bar or room, which is right there. There we are, there we are. What's insane to me is that this is above the promenade because I've only been on Royal Caribbean ships that just have a promenade not a central park that you can see the sky. And there's two of them here. There's actually one directly across from us as well, just below. There's a park cafe. This is included, I've never been inside. Let's, let's go check it out. Oh, it smells so good. What do we have here? We've got cookies. Oh my goodness, we found our cookies. A nice little like quick grab and go option in uh, Central Park. It's pretty big too, look at all the seating down there. Oh, they're seating down there and they're seating outside. It's pretty, uh, it's very pretty. Giovanni's is also in Central Park. Giovanni's, I believe this is like pizza, hey? Pizza, yup, fettuccine Alfredo, pizza lovers. This is not included. But for me, Central Park is all about like the atmosphere, fear and like the, the views for sure. Um, so far guys, if you have a favorite place, Comment down below. This is mine by far. By far. It's just, it's something I've never experienced. And I'm happy that we're here. And then if you're into it, we've got uh, fine jewelry as well in uh, Central Park. It's time to head down one more flight and see what's down there. 
there's nothing on deck seven that's all going to be state rooms. So uh, down to floor six we go. Deck six, we have a beautiful view of uh, the promenade, but we also have the spa and the gym. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't worked out yet, uh, but the gym is okay. There's not really the best views of the sea, which you kind of usually um, typically expect on a cruise ship to have those big wide open glass doors, or sorry, windows to see the sea, but it's kind of enclosed. Um, nice equipment, but you know, it gets a zero on the views. Usually I do get a massage on a cruise ship, but I just kind of elected not to get one this time around. I feel like saving $200. You can also get down to the, the jogging track from here, which goes around the ship. I feel like it's a mile long. We'll, we'll check that out in a second. Actually, we might as well do it now. Pretty much all the doors here, you have to wave to open it up. There we go, magic. Welcome to the track. This goes on for days, and it's a wind tunnel galore. I mean, look how far that goes. That goes all the way to uh, the aft of the ship. It is very far, it's, it's no joke. Now here is where you're going to find those views. Look at the sea, it's a rough one today. Look at that. Pretty beautiful. Okay, so it looks like if you go uh, two and a half times around, that equals one mile. There we have it. And in we go. Let's get inside. Deck five. So here on deck five, we've got guest services, the next cruise, Cafe Promenade, Sorrento's, Bi the, the Bionic Bar, Rising Tide, Cask and Clipper, Bolerios, Spotlight Karaoke, Starbucks, tons of shops and uh, the main dining halls here. And here's that uh, floating bar, or, sorry, the rising bar. Goes all the way up to Central Park. The main dining room where we were last night, but we do have to go up one more floor because we have to go to the boardwalk. We missed the boardwalk on uh, deck six. It's so easy to get lost, so easy to get lost. This now is the aft of the ship. Welcome to the boardwalk, everybody. We've got the dog house, hot dogs included. Playmakers, which we just saw for the first time on the Independence of the Seas. Sugar Beach, if you, uh, you aren't drinking, here's the way to get your sugar and your calories up. Oh my gosh, a party outside of Johnny Rockets. <laughs> That's fun. And here's where that slide finally ends from when we started our tour, all the way up there. Here we also have the Aqua Theater. We're gonna see this show. This is actually an all woman cast. Can't wait to see this. Looks like they were rehearsing. Rock climbing walls, which look super high. There's actually two, one right there and one on the other side. I don't know what day we're seeing this show, but we are definitely seeing it. We are definitely seeing it. And on the aft of the ship, deck five, let's go down one. This is where you can actually see the beauty of the sea, as close I think as you can get on the running track. Like, come on. This is beautiful, yet absolutely terrifying. Holy cow. After what seems about two hours of roaming around, we have one more floor. And then we can go drink. A reward of this tour is Kyle drinking. Chances are I've probably missed something, but that's okay. Like I've been saying, we have like six more days aboard and we'll probably, we'll probably cover it without a doubt. Remember, Playmakers, they have games, but they're not free. On deck four, we have the Casino Royale, shout out to Jane's Bond, uh, Izumi again. Studio B, which is where we were yesterday for the ice show. Right now in Studio B, they actually have a laser tag going. Pretty cool, to say the least. It's like a big blow-up maze. Definitely a fun activity for probably everybody. I think um, the boys might be in there. And then how could I forget, there's always art. Always an art auction, art show going down here by Studio B. These are probably a few thousand dollars. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Well, um... I think that's gonna wrap up our, our rather large tour. I mean, it's the world's largest cruise ship. 
that was a long tour at that. I hope you guys enjoyed, but let's go have some more fun and just enjoy enjoy the day, really, because there's a lot more to do. And if you guys are new in here, hit the subscribe button because, like I said, probably 20 times. We're going to have six videos, seven videos today. Or, sorry, through the next few days. And that, everybody, is going to be it for your daily dose, which means, um, actually, it's 3.15 right now. I'm actually going to be combining everything else that I do tonight with tomorrow's video. Tomorrow we're gonna be in Haiti, so that will be another long video. I'm trying to keep these videos at anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. Um, this was obviously just a really a really cool tour, a long tour at that, a good overview of what the Wonder of the Seas looks like. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you guys are new, please uh, hit the subscribe button. But we do have a birthday. Aisha Ross from New York, who's also married to Rick Ross and three kids um thank you so much and happy birthday to you but i'll see you guys tomorrow and that was it for your daily dose it's time to upload and do this again i'm gonna go get my drink don't worry